what's going on guys, it's Shivam and today we're going to be checking out one of the latest and greatest features of the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Now as you can see I've changed the scenery up a little bit, but nonetheless I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Samsung DeX on PC, Mac and now Smart TV. I'll have timestamps located somewhere over here if you're interested and if this video helped I'd really appreciate a sub and a like. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first we'll take a look at how to connect Samsung DeX on your smart TV. So it's really simple. All you gotta do is first turn on your TV. Once it loads up, you're gonna scroll over to the connection guide in the source page. Then you're gonna scroll down until you see mobile device. Now on mobile device, you're gonna click it and then you're gonna see the screen sharing. So if your TV supports screen sharing, then it'll also be able to support uh, the Note 9's DeX. So just click it. And then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on your Samsung device. You're gonna scroll down from the top panel into the notification shade. And then you're gonna press DeX. Once you press it, you'll see this screen. And right at the bottom, it'll tell you which TV you can connect to. So you're just gonna click your TV, start now, and it'll start to pair. Click start once more. And as you can see, Samsung DeX is loading up. Click OK. It's going to give you some hints about how to use it on your phone. And boom, just like that, you now have Samsung DeX, which is a almost fully fledged Windows system running on your TV. So why is this useful and what can you do? Well, you essentially get the whole PC experience, but on your TV. First, you get a new interface in which you can view multiple apps, resize windows, access keyboard shortcuts, use right mouse functionality, and you get all of your data stored on your phone into a Windows-like experience. It's super useful if you want to present something, just connect desk, pull up the presentation, and use the S Pen to flip through the slides. Press it once more to move forward a slide, and twice to move back. The last cool thing is the ability to use your S Pen as a drawing device to annotate and highlight things while presenting. Now, if you want to control your TV, it's super simple. All you got to do is go on your phone, scroll down, click the icon that says use your phone as a touchpad, click that, and it'll give you some hints about how to use it. Then just swipe away at your phone and you'll be able to use it just like you do your PC. Now, another option that you have is you can connect a keyboard and a mouse, which just makes this experience a lot easier. It gives you access to a full keyboard layout and if you really wanna get work done, that is the best possible way to do so. Next, we got Mac and PC. Their connection process is really similar. First, download the DeX application from the internet. I'll leave links for both Mac and PC in the description right under the subscribe button. After it's downloaded, open up the app and run through the setup process as shown on screen. Next, plug in your phone to your Mac or PC and you'll see that it says it's connected. In a short while, it'll boot up and I'll show you the Samsung DeX experience. Now this is super cool and there's a lot of very useful things for this. Firstly, you get this windowed mode so you can use your Mac or PC whilst using DeX separately. You can also get some dual screen action and multitask like a champ. Another cool thing is file transferring. There's now no need to use Google Photos or any other sketchy apps to transfer photos and files from your Mac or PC to your phone. Simply open up the Files or Photos app and drag them to your desktop. A lot of apps do scale up though and take advantage of the screen. For example, YouTube can be opened and it will play the sound through the laptop speakers. You can also use apps like Gmail and the internet in full screen mode, which allows you to use all the info on your phone in a laptop-like experience. Now there's also a camera app, which if you open, it gives you access to your phone's camera, but it's displayed on your laptop. And if you want to use the Google Assistant, you can simply hold the home button as you would on your Android phone and boom. So as you can see, it uses the microphone from the laptop as well. Pretty cool. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial and it helped you to fully optimize your Samsung device. If this helped you, leave a like and subscribe to see more amazing content. Peace.